Hey. Hey. Hey, thanks for joining. And hey, thank you. Nice to meet you. Yeah, you too. I love your TikTok. Oh, thank you. Yeah. <laughs> I love your music too. I checked your account on Spotify and I heard Against Us song and I really love that song. Oh, honestly. thank you for listening. I hope you like it. Yeah, I love it. Thank you. What inspired you to start your TikTok? I made my account when the lockdown starts. Mm. I said I want to. Hi, sorry. Hi, sorry for the bad connection. Oh, no problem. Okay. It happens. Let's start it again. Okay. So, hi, thank you for joining and being on hi. the podcast. Nice to meet you. Yeah. So, I love your TikTok. It, you have such good TikTok content. What inspired uh -huh. you to start your TikTok? Thank you. I made my account when the lockdown starts. I just wanted to make some new friends from all around the world. So that's the reason I made my TikTok. Oh, that's so cool. And you do a lot of Swifty content, which I love because I'm a Swifty too. So when did you become yeah. a Swifty? Um, when I was 10, I went to my uncle's house and he played You Belong With Me and Love Story music videos on his laptop. and I saw that and I said, oh my gosh, I'm in love with this yeah. music. And since that day until now, I'm a big fan of Taylor Swift. Yeah, yeah <laughs> this sure. is my story. Yes. That's a really good era too, the Fearless era. Yeah. Really good one. Do you have a favorite Taylor Swift era in particular? Um, yeah, my favorite era of Taylor Swift is Red because I feel a connection between me and that album. And also my favorite song is All Too Well, and it's in red. And also I love the fall season, and that's an album for fall. Yeah, that's yeah, a that's really good one. It deserved a Grammy. I know everybody yeah. knows that, but it oh. did deserve a Grammy. Yes, of course. Yeah. Grammy. Yeah, but like being a Swifty, because Taylor Swift is awesome, and she doesn't deserve to get that much hate. But for some yeah, reason, I'm... she does get a lot of hate. And like, have totally you angry. felt hate or judgment for being a Taylor Swift stan? Not directly, but I heard some gossips about me. People said um, Taylor Swift is just for girls or just girls like to listen to Taylor Swift's music. Mm -hmm. But I don't believe in that. I think yeah. everyone can hear any type of music. You cannot say this one is for girls or this one is for boys. That's my opinion. For sure, it's crazy when people do that. And what inspired your username, Alex the Wallflower Guy? Because I love that username. Yeah. <laughs> From the day that I born since today, not sorry, till today, I was a different person from everybody that I know. I just felt like a wildflower. I felt alone. So 
I when I started my account, I said I wanna add this to my name because it reminds me that I'm something special and different <laughs> that reminds me of this. So that's the reason I made that username. Yeah, that's really cool. And then yeah, so you. you stand Taylor Swift, but are there any other artists you stand? Mm, yes. I love Lana Del Rey. Oh, yeah, that's I'm a big fan of her. Also, Katy Perry, Lady Gaga, and Kylie Minogue, and Five Seconds of Summer, and also I'm a big fan of Glee. Oh, Glee is so good. Glee's yeah. like my favorite show ever. <laughs> Me yeah, too. It's the best. Um, but, yeah. yeah. So on TikTok, it's TikTok's cool because there are kind of different communities on TikTok, like based yeah. on your niche. And like Swift Talk is definitely a really cool niche. Like even I feel like there wasn't that much Taylor Swift stuff on TikTok. And then almost when um, Forkler came out, it was like I started seeing so much Taylor Swift stuff on TikTok, like all the time. Yeah, for me too. So cool. Yeah, and I kept getting on my For You page and stuff. Do you have a favorite part about Swift Talk and the Swifty community in general? Uh, Swifties are the most supportive fandom ever. Mm -hmm. You know, every time you post something about Taylor Swift, they come in and say, oh my gosh, I love you. I love your content. I love your style and everything. Just, I think the other fandoms are so toxic. Yeah. But Swifties are so supportive and also they are so loyal to Taylor Swift. Totally. So many of us are fan of Taylor Swift for so many years mm -hmm. and we are so loyal to her. And that's why I love Taylor Swift. And in Swift Talk, everything is creative and I love that content. Yeah, me too. That people I feel like there. Swifties get a bad rap, but they shouldn't. Like people mm. think that Swifties are toxic, but they're not at all. I think it's like the nicest fandom. Yeah, I'm exactly. By far. Totally. And so you have your TikTok account, which is so cool. And it's doing really well. Like people seem to love your TikTok. Um, do you plan Thank on you. expanding it into a YouTube channel or any or other any other type of social platform? Um, yeah, I have some plans to make reaction videos or vlogs. I already have a YouTube channel, but I only post song edits there, but I want to make some more content there. Yeah. Yes, I have some plans for that. Oh, yeah, that'll be exciting. And then thank you. How has Taylor Swift's music affected your life? Like, has it helped you um, through hard times? Yeah, just like any other person, I had hard times in my life. And when there was no one for me, Taylor Swift's music was there. Yeah. And it helps me a lot to maintain my confidence and fight for it. Yeah. So that is one of the reasons that I love Taylor Swift. Yeah, for sure. And then like on TikTok, a lot of people get hate. I just, it's a platform that's really easy to get hate on because it's just, you go to the For You page, there's just all these random people and they just say whatever they want. But yeah. like for you, if you get a hater, do you prefer, like what's your strategy? Do you prefer to clap back at them and like be sassy or ignore them or kill them with kindness or like what do, how do you like to handle it? Um, it depends. Sometimes the only thing that they want is attention. So yeah. if you don't pay attention to them, it's a hard revenge for them. But sometimes they cross the red lines. And when they do this, you just need to, yeah. boom, I don't know. Yeah, I get what you mean. I feel the same way, totally. And sometimes it's yeah. hard to not clap back. You're like, oh, I just want to do it. I just want to do it. <laughs> but yeah. And then how has music in general helped you in your life? I listen to all of the artists. My favorite is Taylor Swift, but I listen to all of the types of music. Mm -hmm. So I think the answer is the same. Yeah, totally. 
And if you're in like a bad mood or just a sad mood or something happened, do you prefer to listen to happy songs that will like get your mind off of it? Or are you the type of person who wants to listen to sad songs? Um, I have a big, big, big playlist of sad songs. I think when you are down or you don't feel good, you really need to cry because it makes you feel better. So I just have a big playlist of sad songs for crying <laughs> and I really love that. So yeah, I prefer to listen to that. Yeah, when I'm sad, I usually want to listen to sad songs too. You're just not in the mood. Like even Shake It Off, like I love the song Shake It Off, but if I'm in a really oh, yeah, bad mood, change. like I'm just not in the mood. mood. That's like the last thing I want to do. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, um, but how do you plan on, do you plan on kind of doing TikToks forever? Um, I just do it for fun. Mm -hmm. It's not like a job or a career. Yeah. I just do it for fun. I don't know. I don't have any plans for the future of that. Yeah, I feel like people really like your content because it's just fun. Feel good content. Yeah, thank which you. People need more of. Yeah, and then like, how do your friends react to your TikTok? Like, do they think it's cool, or are they kind of like, why are you on TikTok? Or Honestly, they don't know anything about my TikTok. <laughs> I do the same thing. Yeah. <laughs> I do the same exact thing. Like nobody in my life knows that I have a TikTok or an Instagram. So yeah. I totally feel you. Exactly. I want to hide it. I'm the same way. <laughs> yeah. Like most people I know don't even know that I make music. I'm like. Mm. But they don't know. But they know about your music? No, they don't. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I know, I'm really secretive about it. I don't know why. <laughs> why? But I just say it. Why? Yeah, I'm not sure why, to be honest. I probably shouldn't be, but just some things you like to keep private. I don't know why. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I understand. And, yeah. And then when it comes to Glee, do you have a favorite season? Season of my favorite season of Glee. Mm -hmm. It's season two. It's Me perfect. Too. Me too. Same. Yeah. I feel like everybody likes season one better than season two, but I think season two is the best season. It's perfect. I know everything about it is so good. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, thank you for joining me. Oh, thank you. Thank you for inviting me and. It was my pleasure. Yeah, of course. I'm so glad you got to be on it. And um, so what's your TikTok handle and Instagram handle so people can find it? And can you please say it again? I, I, oh, yeah. Just... What's your TikTok handle and what's your Instagram handle or username? Um, my Instagram username is callme underline mzh. And my TikTok is Alex, the wildflower guy. Oh, nice. Yeah, everyone should definitely check out your TikTok, especially if you're Swifty or like really any pop music. It's really cool. Thank you. Yeah. So, yeah, thank you for joining me. It was so nice to meet you. Thank you. Nice to meet you too. And thank you for inviting me. Yeah, of yeah, course. Thank it was you. Fun. Yeah, it's fun to talk to you. Thanks. Nice to meet you. Thank you. Bye. Bye.